Today, we are going to take a look at how water stored in a reservoir can be used to produce power. The setup. A water reservoir is placed on top of a podium. When the valve is open, the water travels down a tube from the reservoir to the turbine. The turbine is connected to some light emitting diodes or LEDs in a house so that when the turbine spins, the LEDs turn on. The theoretical power of the setup is found by the top equation, P equals rho hqg, where rho is the density of the water, h is the distance from the top of the water level in the reservoir to where the water hits the turbine, q is the flow rate of the water, and g is the acceleration due to gravity. The power produced by the turbine is found by the second equation, P equals VI, where V is the voltage and I is the current flowing to the LEDs. The demo. When the valve is open, the water flows into the turbine, spinning it clockwise and producing enough power to light the four LEDs in the house. When the valve is closed, the turbine stops spinning and the LEDs turn off. By taking a closer look, you can see the water flowing out of the tube and spinning the turbine. A closer look at LEDs. We can see that these are LEDs, since when the turbine is spun in one direction, the LEDs light up. But when the turbine is spun in the opposite direction, the LEDs do not light up. This can be further shown by connecting an ammeter and a voltmeter. When the turbine spins clockwise, the voltage is 3 volts and the current is 30 milliamps. When the turbine spins counterclockwise, the voltage is negative 5 volts and the current is 0 milliamps, since the LEDs only allow the current to flow through them in one direction.